Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Visual Tail Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this Ethno Flower Hitchhole style earrings only out of seed beads. They're easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make them by yourself. You could also ask me anything in the comments. If you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting the bell button because in this way you will be inspired often, usually twice a week, with my new tutorials and uh, you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. That's why it's a good idea to hit the bell. If you're not new here, you could skip this intro and go to the work itself because now I have timestamps, but I have just a few words to say. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials mainly on my Facebook and Instagram pages. I will be so happy to see your creations and I will share them on my community tab on YouTube so the others could also see it. I can't thank enough to all of you that like, share and comment. You help me so much. You don't know how much of a support this is. And you could check my second channel with the fast clips as well. Link in description. Thank you and now I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are 5 colors of 11 o seed beads or you could use 10 o seed beads if you want. They are black, yellow, orange, green and light green. Here I'm using earring findings. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches to 0 0.15 millimeters. Or you could use other beading thread of your choice. This is size 10 beading needle, scissors, and these are pliers that are not obligatory, but I use them only if I need to go through the difficult beads. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and I'm back. And what I'm going to pick up now are four of these beautiful black beads. Okay, I need four of those black beads. I'm sliding those down almost until the end. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making my knot by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and I will make one more knot. Okay, and I'm pulling. Now I will go through one of the black beads in this direction. Okay guys, in my next step what I'm going to pick up is one yellow bead and I'm going in the following black. Then again one yellow, go in this black seed bead and repeat this twice more. Okay, and in my next step, what I'm going to do is go through this yellow bead here. And I'm going to pick up yellow, black and yellow. And I'm going back in circle through this yellow. Okay, now I have this. Now I'm going through the black here. And I want to reach the next yellow. And I'm going to pick up yellow, black and yellow. And I go like this. Okay, and I'm going to repeat this two more times. Okay. 
okay now I have this and in my next step guys I want to go through this yellow bead here and now what I want to do is flip my work like this and I'm going to pick up five yellow beads Okay, I have my five yellows here and I'm skipping this black one and going through the next yellow. Okay, then again through this yellow. Then what I do is that I go in this direction and through the following yellow then here and I need five yellow beads okay I have my five and I skip this black one at the top and I go through the following Okay, then here in this direction. Okay, then I want to reach the next yellow here. And I will repeat this two more times to finish this row. Okay, and now I have this. Okay, and now what I want to do is go here in this direction through all of the yellows that I just added. And I'm exiting here. Here you see where I'm exiting, one yellow bead away from here, from the black, okay? And now what I want to take is black, orange and black, okay? This is what I have on my needle and as I'm exiting here, I go in the same place in my other petal. Okay, and now I need the same thing, black, orange, black. And I will continue doing this two more times. Okay, now what I have is this and in my next step I'm going here through the yellow bead that is sticking out the most and I'm going to pick up three black beads, one green and three black beads. Okay, I have this and I'm going back in circle through this yellow. Now I go in this direction and I exit out of the orange and I'm going to pick up seven orange beads. Okay, I have my seven here 
and I'm going back in circle through this orange you see I'm making here something like a loop okay then again I repeat absolutely the same thing okay I'm exiting out of this yellow three blacks one green and three blacks okay and I go back like this then what I want to do is exit out of the orange and I want to take seven orange beads okay I have seven and I'm going back like this okay guys and I'm going to repeat those two steps twice here I add three blacks one green and three blacks and here I add seven orange beads okay I will do this and I'll meet you here okay guys and I'm here where I'm adding my last seven beads from this row I'm going back like this okay then in my next step what I want to do is reach here through all of those beads and exit out of this green one and now what I want to pick up is one black three green beads and one black bead okay this is what I have and I'm going back like this then I'm going through these two black beads I take just one black and I go here through these two orange beads now I go through the bead that's sticking out the most and I'm going to pick up one black three greens and one black okay and I go back like this in circle okay then I go through two in this direction I take just one black bead and I go through two blacks and through the green if you can in one movement in this direction then the same sequence guys a black three green beads and a black go back through the green in circle then through two beads take a black one go in these two orange beads go here and take the same sequence okay then go through two in this direction after the top take one black and go through two in this direction and if you can also through the green okay guys and I'm going to continue the same thing if you forgot how I'm doing it just rewind the video and repeat this part from here and I'll meet you here okay guys and as I continue this here I am where I'm adding my last black bead from this row and the next row will be a little bit tricky 
but I promise that this will be the last tricky row. The next one will be really easy and pleasant. And you see, as I'm exiting out of this black that is next to the orange, I'm going to add three beads. Black, green and black, you see. And as I'm exiting here, I go back through this bead, only through it and make something like a loop, you see. When I pull, I have this, okay. Then I'm going through all of those orange beads in this direction. In order to reach the next black, which is next to the orange. And it is this one. Okay. And I will take the same sequence. Black, green, black. And I'm going back in circle through this same black one. Okay, I have this. Yeah, I know this row it's a little bit tricky, but if you grasp it once, it's not that difficult. Okay, now again, I'm exiting through all of the blacks and I want to exit through the black that is next to the orange. Okay, this black here next to the orange. Then through the following that is after the orange. Okay, and I take black, green and black. And I go back like this. Okay. I also went through the following orange because I should continue in this direction through all of the orange beads anyways. And here I am at this black which is right next to the orange. And again, I'll show you one more time, black, green and black. And I go back like this. Okay. Now, guys, I'm going to continue adding these three beads to every black bead, which is next to the orange. And when I'm up to here, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and this is the last step here from this row. And now you will see that things were totally worth it to make this just a little bit unpleasant row. Because now everything will make sense and I will connect those beads in a beautiful line. Okay, so what I'm doing now is that I'm going through all of the green beads here, just like this. You see, I went from here through all of the greens and now my thread is exiting here. And now I want to flip. It's not obligatory guys to flip, but I prefer to do this because it's easier for me. And now you will see what I do. I take two beads and I go through this green here. Okay. Then I take two more beads. And I'm going through these green beads at the edge. Like this. Then through all of the greens here. And you will see how everything that was curly and maybe was bothering you now will go in a straight line. Okay. This was just a stage of making it where it bends and moves around. But now by adding two beads everywhere and connecting all the green beads that are sticking out we will make a beautiful straight line. 
Okay guys, and I will continue this off camera because it's really easy and pleasant row. And I don't think you could make a mistake here. And I'll be back uh, when I'm here at the last step to show you the result and also the next final row. Okay, see you in a while. Okay guys, and I'm here at my last step where I add my last two beads. And by the way, you could finish your work like this. It's also really beautiful, but now I will make one more edge. Okay, as I'm exiting here through the bead that's sticking out the most of the three beads here, I will take three light green beads. Okay, light greens. And I'm going back in circle through this bead here at the edge. And you see, I'm pulling. Then what I want to do is go through five beads. Okay. And my goal is to exit out of the bead that is next to the inner edge, to the bead that is to the inner side the most, or the inner edge. And I'm going through the bead just after that. And I'm going to take a yellow, an orange and a yellow and I'm going back through these three beads in the center the inner edge and the next ones okay then I go through the yellow bead and I want to take three yellows like this and as I'm exiting through one of the yellows, I skip the orange and I go through the following yellow. And I pull. Now I will go in this direction. And again, I want to exit through the bead that is sticking out the most or here where my flower finishes i count one two three beads this is the other way to tell where to go and i take three light green beads and i'm going back through this bead and if you can in one movement you could go through the following five beads so through this and through the following five so through six in total in this way you save time Okay, now I'm one beat after this inner angle and I'm going to take a yellow, an orange and a yellow and I'm going back through the beat that is before the angle and backwards like that. So these are three beats I'm going backwards through. Okay. And then to form the flower, I'm going through the first yellow and I take three, three more yellows and I go back like this. And then through these three beads. Okay, and then when you go through the following tree, you are at the bead that is sticking out the most and you take three light green beads and you go back like this and then through five beads one bead after the center here okay and i think you get the idea uh, if you forgot how I'm doing it, rewind the video and repeat this until the end and I'll meet you directly here. Okay guys, and here I'm making my last flower from this row. And what I want to do is reposition my thread to go out of these green beads. You see? 
here at the other earring I attached my earring finding here through at these greens that are next to the yellows not these that are to the orange and I want to make them in the same manner that is why now I will go through this topmost green bead and what I want to take here are two seed beads then I'm taking my earring finding I'm going through its hole with the beads just like this sliding it down then I'm going to take two more black beads okay two and I'm going back in circle through this uh, green bead here This is what I have. So two earring finding two and go back just like this. Now guys, I'm going to reinforce this joint. Okay, and after I reinforce the joint, I choose a place to make a knot and how I make it, I make here a loop and I go once and then I go second time through this loop I've made. I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from and I pull the loop and then I go through the following seed beads and I cut my thread and my earring is ready. Okay guys, and now my Etno Hitchol style flower earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button. And in this way, you will know when I make new tutorials, usually twice a week and you will be inspired often. You will also be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. Down there in description, you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see your creations. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.